Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the new Dior 2020 holiday makeup collection and also I'm going to show you some sneak peeks of the new upcoming Dior Backstage face glow palettes that are going to launch in the end of September and we already seen some sneak peeks and we've already seen some swatches so today I'm going to be talking about all of the newness from Dior so in case you're interested and you love sneak peeks please keep watching if that's your first time on this channel I'm Angela and I love talking about luxury beauty and fragrances please take a moment to subscribe don't forget to turn the notification bell on and leave me a comment so I can say hi if you're a regular to this channel welcome back dear friends you know how much I love Dior makeup and I'm more than happy to share with you some of the newness that is going to come for the holiday season. Also I would like to invite all of you makeup lovers to join the discussion in the comment section below. Let me know what are the products that you want me to buy from these collections and let me know what are the products that you are most interested in. And before I start this video I want to say a huge thank you to my very good friend Tavia from chicprofile.com because she helped me to assemble this video and she helped me with all the information with gathering all the information that I'm going to be showing you today. She is a full-time independent content creator and she does very detailed reviews of luxury makeup. Like if she's reviewing a Chanel eyeshadow palette, she is going to review every single shade in the palette. She's going to tell you how it feels, how it performs for each different shade. So make sure to check out her blog. Also, she has a Patreon account where you can support her because she's an independent content creator. She has amazing content there and the content that she posts on Patreon, she's not sharing it on her blog or on her Instagram. All of the details about Tavia are going to be in the description box about her Patreon account, about her Instagram and also her blog. So be sure to check her out. And once again, a huge thank you Tavia for helping me to gather all this information. So let's go ahead and start with Dior Holiday 2020 Golden Nights. Now I'm going to be looking at my phone and I'm also going to be inserting the photos that I'm looking so that you can look at the photos together with me and we can discuss um, about the collection. Now a lot of Dior lovers were disappointed that Dior cancelled their full makeup collection. Instead of a full makeup collection, Dior released new eyeshadow quints with five colors. They have new formula. And the formula of the new eyeshadows that Dior released is really good. So for sure also the two new eyeshadow palettes from the Holiday Makeup Collection are going to have the same formula. And let's take a closer look at the two eyeshadow palettes. So for Holiday 2020, Dior are going to release two limited edition eyeshadow palettes and one is 089 Black Knight and you can see it right now. And you can see that it's very dark, very bold palette, which to be honest, I'm not very attracted to this palette and I might skip it because it is a bit too dark for me, even though Peter Phillips, we can see that on the promo photos, Peter Phillips is using very successfully this eyeshadow palette on a model who has very fair skin tone, probably very close to my skin tone. Still, I think I'm going to miss this palette because it is way too dark. I think that these colors are going to look absolutely gorgeous on someone who has medium to deeper dark skin tone. I think this is a very extravagant eyeshadow palette and I think that also these colors are going to look gorgeous on brown eyes, hazel eyes. I think that this darker palette is not going to look very flattering on me, so I am for sure going to pick up the Golden Snow, which is the more subtle eyeshadow palette. This is 549 Golden Snow, and as you can see, it has that beautiful gold color, and it has a little bit of peach, and it has two brown shades, which is very safe. I think that this colors are going to be suitable for any skin tone. Next, moving on to a blush. Now I'm definitely going to be getting the blush from this collection because it looks very beautiful. And the blush is 353 Rose Frison and I really love the design of the blush. I think that it's going to look beautiful and this is a piece that I definitely want from this makeup collection. Also, there is going to be a very interesting product and Dior are going to release a limited edition Dior Forever Cushion Powder. Now, I already have the Dior Forever Cushion Foundation and it has a similar packaging. Actually, it has the same, the exact same packaging. It's a limited edition packaging, but mine is black. So here I can see that the powder has that beautiful light beige cream 
packaging and I'm very attracted to the packaging and I'm also very curious to see how this product is going to perform. So be sure to turn the notification bell on. I'm definitely going to be reviewing this product because I'm very interested. Also, Dior are going to release some limited edition nail polishes and limited edition lipsticks. Now the nail polishes, as always, they look very beautiful and usually I always say that I'm not going to buy these nail polishes because they are quite pricey and not worth the investment and I have too many of them. But I don't know, I might be tempted and I'm, I, I might actually get the pink one and the red one. We are going to see. And about the limited edition lipsticks, I am very tempted by the Diorific Golden Nights limited edition lipsticks. I really love the packaging and I, I like all of the four colors that they are going to release. So I'm very, very attracted to these colors. Maybe I will get one of these colors or at least for sure I'm going to try and swatch them at my local Sephora and show them to you. So be sure to follow me also on Instagram because I'm showing a lot of photos on Instagram sometimes that I just don't have the time to show here on YouTube. And this was the Your 2020 Holiday Makeup Collection. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's move on to the new Dior Backstage Face Glow palettes. Now these palettes were introduced a few days ago. In Paris there was a press event and we've already seen swatches, we've already seen the palettes, so I'm gonna show you now photos of the three palettes. And I am very tempted because I'm a huge Dior lover and I love the Dior Backstage Face Glow palettes. I have the two previous Dior Backstage palettes and I'm, I think I'm going to be getting all three of these new backstage palettes just because I want to review them and I want to compare them for you. Now I can see from the photos that these three there is going to be something for any skin tone and I'm very happy about the copper palette. I think that this is the one that I'm most attracted to. I know that it's not suitable for my skin tone but I'm definitely going to be getting this one because I know that I'm going to be using it as eyeshadow and I just have a thing about the Dior backstage face glow palettes. I love the way Peter Phillips does highlighters. I know that I can't use these colors as highlighters, but I think that I might use some of the shades as bronzer and I'm definitely going to be using them um, on my eyes. So I'm gonna show you how this palette looks. Now I'm most attracted to the 004, which is rose gold, which has that beautiful pink blush. And I'm definitely going to get this backstage palette. As I said, actually, I'm probably gonna get all three of them because the only one that I don't really love is the gold one, but still, I'm probably going to get it just to review and to show you comparison swatches because I think that these three palettes are going to be suitable for different skin tones. So I'm very attracted to this palette because it has that beautiful pink blush and it also has two more golden shades and one very beautiful pinkish, cool highlighter, which is the kind of highlighter that looks beautiful on my skin tone. And the last palette is 003 Pure Gold, and this is for everyone who loves gold highlighter. Now, I rarely use gold highlighter, but I think that for the holiday season, I might actually use gold highlighter. And besides, as I mentioned before, Peter Phillips does, hi does highlighters amazingly good. He's great at doing highlighters and, and doing this Dior Backstage palette. So I'm probably going to get this one. Also, I think that the gold, the gold, colors are going to look beautiful on the eyes as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below. These were all of the products that I had to show you and let's all have a discussion. What do you think of the new Dior releases? And what are the products that you're most interested in? What are the products that you want me to review on this channel? Also check out my blog, angelavanrose.com. I post on a regular basis there and also make sure to subscribe to my newsletter. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.